Harris, Jazz Roots 2023. Let's take a look. <laughs> Today I'm going to be taking a look at a solo jazz competition by one of my favorite solo jazz dancers right now by the name of Alexandra. In my opinion, no one comes close to competing with his ability to just improvise with such technical precision. It looks like he's going to be competing at the Paris Jazz Roots Festival. And of course, this event brings out some of the best solo jazz dancers who've been around for a long time. And they bring a lot of newcomers to keep those old timers humble. Before I watch this footage, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24 hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. This competition is either going to be a complete slaughter <laughs> or a real fight. So let's take a look. what to say honestly about this one. On one hand, I feel this wasn't even close. But on the other hand, the the competitor that was going against Alexandra actually brought some stiff competition. The big thing that I notice is that he can go against Alexandra in a way that's not intimidated at all. I feel he has a natural skill to sway the audience with 
just his personality and that is noteworthy. The part that really stuck out to me was how fast Alexandra was able to make his improvisations match the song at the very beginning. His musical phrasing with his body wasn't overproduced. He doesn't try to hit every single note of the song like many people do who have a really good musical ear but lack the discipline to arrange their movements that in a way that matches the tone of the musicians. I mean, just look at the musicians. They're not going crazy playing whatever they want. They're playing their part at the right time. And because of that, we appreciate them more. And I feel like Alexandra is able to understand this concept. And it seems like he knows when to ignore the main melody by adding either just a pause or a break to let the viewer know his complexity isn't just superficial. It takes real discipline to not overdo it when you have a good musical ear for timing and the skill set to back it up. In a way, this almost felt like I was watching a b-boy battle in terms of aggression and intensity. This competition was just gritty and and noteworthy. I would encourage you dancers who naturally have talent to pay attention to how well Alexandra disciplines his movement. I can tell he has the same type of energy that a house or hip hop dancer might have just naturally, but he doesn't fall into the trap of devaluing authentic solo jazz by making it look like hip hop. This is a fantastic example of how to respect the foundation of solo jazz while adding one's unique style. You all better be taking copious notes. Overall, I felt as if I was watching the second generation of solo jazz dancers from the 1930s. There were no movements that felt overly contrived and polished to just appeal to the judge's expectations. He also didn't amplify himself at the expense of the art. He just some kind of way encapsulates that, that healthy middle ground. In a way, I feel like Alexandra has maximized the ability to infuse his uniqueness into the solo jazz template. This is how you mix creativity with tradition. And I feel this performance has made me respect him even more as a dancer. What do you guys think about this solo jazz performance? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.